fesse. Je vais chauffer l'huile. Hello! Hi! Hello, 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 hello! So, welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel, Congo Travels, and welcome back to my humble yet functional somehow kitchen. So, um, today I thought for our um, cook and uh, chat session, we're going to have um, a little sort of flashback to my time in uh, Colombia. And uh, I will um, basically be making a, a Colombian uh, dish that I learned when I was uh, I was there. The dish is called. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing it right. It's called mo mojaya. <laughs> and I was gonna mess it up. So it's M O J A R R A. So mojaya mo. Right, hard. <laughs> I get the right pronunciation every time. You know, I do not speak Spanish, English, French, Lingala. That's it. So, it is basically a um, typical um, uh, Colombian dish from the Caribbean uh, side, mostly. Um, I was in uh, Cartagena earlier um, this year, and um, it is a typical um, fish dish and uh, so you have um, fish, plantains and coconut uh, rice. So um, let's go through the recipes. So you'll need about two cups of um, rice. I'm using uh, jasmine rice, um, about uh, two tablespoons of um, brown sugar and about a third uh, of a cup of um, raisins, um, a can of uh, coconut milk, um, and that's for the um, the rice basically, and then a little bit of salt to taste. And then um, for the fish, um, they would typically use a um, red snapper, uh, what we called mabundu. Uh, in in uh, in the DRC, but uh, I felt like some tilapia today, so I'll make uh, um, uh, tilapia. So there's no rules today. Well, just you know whatever works. So for that, I'm gonna um, ginger some uh, spring onions as well, and um, salt and pepper. Also keeping it um, very very uh, simple because it's a very simple quick. Uh, dish to make. And then uh, they would have plantains, which, uh, which they called patacones. Now, um, the plantain gods did not come through for me uh, today, all over <laughs> Johannesburg. So I'm going to be um, using uh, green bananas uh, instead, which works uh, just fine uh, for me. But ideally, you want to have uh, uh, plantains. So I'll be using these ones um, here. Uh, about like three or four of them. Okay, um, so let's get started. I'm gonna be starting with um, with the bananas, um, and then we'll move to um, to the rice. So, how are you doing? Um, well, for the, I would say if there are uh, plantains, it would be best to use um, your your green uh, plantains as well. Sort of um, not entirely ripe because it's supposed to be um, savory because we'll like drizzle with some salt and everything. So I would say uh, um, like greenish, okay, not your 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 yellow soft uh, plantains. So um, not very ripe um, 
for, for that. But I think uh, some of the, the, the patacones I tasted um, in Cartagena were a bit too um, uh, bitter for my taste. So I'm more of like a sweet, softy uh, um, banana, but you know, I like the original kind would be, you know, somewhere uh, towards the, the greener ones. So um, how they make the patacones is basically they fry them twice. So first um, you have your um, plantains or like green bananas, which um, you will then have to cut in like, um, I would say cubes, basically uh, big chunks, um, but like so, okay. And then uh, let me try the other ones. I'm streaming from my, my laptop, so I have to sort of maneuver a bit. <laughs> okay, so, all right. And then we just uh, toss it in the, um, in the oil. Okay, let me. Um, I'm gonna be using um, canola um, oil, but I'm sure any would be okay, but I don't think uh, olive oil will really be suited for this dish though. So, um, whilst the oil is like heating up, um, I'm just gonna get started with the um, the rice, okay? So um, you first need to like um, let the uh, the coconut milk simmer for a while, and it sort of reduces in in volume uh, by like a fourth, you know, like very little, and starts um, the oil starts coming out, and uh, it breaks into like little. Um, uh, white uh, bits, which then turn brownish. So you you sort of, in a way, caramelizing the coconut uh, milk before you you um, you get uh, started with the the rice. So um, I just you know uh, used a, a, an Asian uh, coconut milk from um, from the store. Nothing uh, too too fancy. All right, so. I'll just um, empty uh, the full can out. And then leave it there for, um, the whole process of like caramelizing would be, uh, takes more or less 15, uh, 15 minutes, well, depending on how hot your um, your pan is, but I wouldn't make it too, um, too hot. So, um, so whilst the, um, the coconut milk is, uh, you know, like simmering, I'm gonna get uh, started with just prepping quickly for the um, the fish. Again, I'm using uh, tilapia. How do you feel about like cleaning fish? I'm totally like, I run away from that. My sister who's like <laughs> right here <laughs> is the champ. I, I stay away from fish. So I, I uh, well, when I buy it from the store, it's already like cleaned inside, but they still have like um, scales on. So like, yeah, so uh, I still like uh, rely on my own system for that. So um, I would um, basically mix uh, in, a, uh, in a mixer or food, food processor, whatever you, you call it where you are. Hello, hello, hello. Um, so I would typically have, um, Spring onions, ndembi, uh, we call it, um, in Lingala. Um, en français, c'est quoi, ciboulette? Ouais, ciboulette uh, en français. <laughs> Donc, um, so, how these, um, 
cook and chat uh, go. Uh, I, you know, I drift between the French and, and English, depending on who's joining and um, the questions I get. Um, donc, on va faire un plat colombien qui s'appelle um, mo, mo, Moraya. <laughs> donc, c'est um, donc M O J A R R A. Donc, uh, Moyara. Je pense que c'est actually better, Moria. Et um, donc, c'est un plat de, de poisson. Euh, donc, typiquement, ils utilisent euh, donc, euh, du poisson, du riz à la, à la noix de coco et puis euh, des, des euh, makemba ou euh, des bananes plantains. Donc, euh, c'est un plat typique de la côte caribéenne euh, euh, de Colombie. Donc, euh, euh, au début de cette année, j'étais à, euh, à Carthage. Donc, euh, c'est là, à Carthage, je sais pas si c'est là où j'ai appris euh, à faire ce plat. Parce que euh, quand je voyage, j'aime... Je, 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 euh, Bien sûr, m'imprégner un peu de la culture euh, locale. C'est un mélange de, de euh, essayer différentes nourritures et beaucoup de, de, de cocktails aussi. J'aime beaucoup faire des, des cocktails, donc je prends des cours comme ça pendant que je suis en vacances. Et euh, donc, euh, du coup, on a commencé par euh, les bananes plantains qu'on a coupées euh, en, en gros euh, morceaux comme ça et on va justement mettre dans l'huile. So, euh, So we're going to go and toss the bananas in oil. Well, not toss. Um, All right, so um, the patacones, uh, you start with the, um, the plantains or your, your like green bananas, cut them in chunks, put them in the oil to brown a bit. And for the coconut milk, I just put it in the, uh, in the pan there and it's uh, busy simmering and then it's gonna like start splitting and the oil is gonna come out. Um, Hello, bonjour, bonjour, Nasepeli. Et <laughs> Donc, um, et pour le poisson, uh, for my fish, I'm gonna mix um, some spring onions, um, red peppers, just cutting them in um, big chunks because I'm, I'm like tossing them in the mixer. Okay. Um, lots and lots of ginger, uh, beaucoup de, come on the ginger. <laughs> Tangawisi. <laughs> Gingembre. <laughs> Beaucoup de gingembre. Uh, donc, uh, je suis en train de couper. Just en train d'enlever la, la, la peau. Just taking off the skin of the um, ginger. Trying to not to lose that much. Okay, in the process. And then um, cut them and also big chunks. C'est pas trop bon, mais... Que j'ai cinq cinq ans. Non, je voulais pour moi. Non, ça va. Ok. All right. So ginger goes in. 
Then we have spring onions, uh, red pepper and ginger, um, tangawisi, uh, poivron, na uh, dembi, ou ciboulette. Et ensuite, on va prendre des... Euh, un oignon, bon, enfin, celui-ci est assez gros, donc je vais prendre juste la, la, la moitié. Uh, just half an onion, uh, just like also cut it in like huge chunks and also toss it in the. Can you tell that I'm like not a chef? I'm like struggling to peel an onion. Okay. Just making sure nothing is like burning over there. And um, how did I get to um, Colombia? Donc, uh, I'm cooking moyara, okay, which is a um, Colombian dish. It's a fish dish. So we're going to have some um, fish, coconut rice, and plantains, um, and a sad salad. And yeah, so that's that's the moyara, and um, it's a typical dish from um, from Cartagena, so the, the Caribbean um, side of Colombia. Donc, uh, bonjour, 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 bonjour. Okay. Donc, on va rajouter un tout petit peu little bit of um, olive oil in the mix. Je suis juste en train de, de m'assurer que les bananes ne, ne brûlent pas. Je vais vous montrer dans quelques minutes. Ok. Un peu de sel, enfin un peu. Et puis, on va mettre très peu de, de poivre. Ok. Donc, euh, on va mixer tout. Euh, donc, une fois de plus, uh, we have um, spring onions, red pepper, um, ginger, onion, salt, pepper and a uh, little bit of olive oil uh, in the mixer. I'm going to get my sister <laughs> to uh, mix it up for us. So um, typically what you'll use is a, um, a red snapper or bien mabundu, mais uh, cette fois-ci je vais utiliser um, un, un tilapia parce que j'avais envie. Uh, J'arrive, je vais chercher le poisson. <rire> voilà. Donc, euh, il est là, mon tilapia. Euh, bien, bien nettoyé. Euh, et on a enlevé les, les écailles également. Donc, je vais juste... Euh, Couper sur les côtés, comme ça, euh, et pousser aussi. Ma soeur est en train de mixer le, euh, les épices pour le poisson. Donc, euh je vais... Moi, ce qui, euh, qui m'aide beaucoup, c'est le fait que euh, à l'épicerie, ils coupent déjà, ils, enlèvent, ils nettoient déjà le, le, le poisson. Donc, euh, je n'ai pas, pas besoin de. Voilà. Donc, on a fini avec. Euh, avec le mélange qui est pratiquement euh, 
fait. Donc, on va juste rajouter sur, sur le poisson, euh, faire en sorte que ce soit euh, à l'intérieur, sur les côtés, comme j'ai euh, coupé là. Donc, je fais entrer toutes les épices à l'intérieur et euh, à la fin, je peux juste rajouter un peu, euh, un peu de jus de citron. Et euh, ça, je, pour aujourd'hui, je, euh, je vais le mettre au four, mais ça peut partir au, au macala, euh, en barbecue ou alors euh, aussi en... Enfin, comme vous voyez, vous pouvez aussi mettre ça à, à, à lui, ça, ça va aussi. So, um, our uh, spice mix is ready. So, we're just going to um, spice the, the fish. Um, I cut it a little bit on the sides just to, to make sure the, the spice are like go through the, the, the fish, uh, especially for such a big, uh, a big one. So, I'll just quickly um, use a different tray, like a flatter one. Okay. All right. All right. So, um, are you using a Dorade Royal black black red snapper? Uh, oh, I'm using a tilapia. Um, that's the fish I'm using. Um, and but you would uh, the the original like the the way they would do it in Colombia is that you would use a red snapper. Yes, but um, I felt like some uh, tilapia this morning, so that's where I, I, I went for. Um, so anything goes. Um, They would, um, they have like a quite a good variety of fish because, um, I mean, it's uh, um, it's a tropical country and surrounded by, by like uh, to on both on two sides by water, so they have quite a variety of uh, of fish, so um, they also sort of mix it up. But I would use um, the, the tilapia for today. It's, um, I would say it, it is more, because um, there in, um, uh, in, in Colombia, they, they, they typically have like two, um, two seasons in Catarina. Um, it's colder and, uh, <laughs> and hot. So even when it's cold, it's typically our spring here in South Africa. So they don't have like your, your, your winter because uh, I mean it's in the Caribbean so it's uh, the water is actually warm and uh, you don't really get to um, you don't have that with your typical winter so the dish um, I would say it's more of a, a summer um, sort of uh, warm uh, temperature uh, dish because it's not very sort of heavy comfort uh, food style So, which is like best suited for for winter. So, I would say, um, yeah, it would be your 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 summery um, uh, dish if I, I had to like pick a weather. And all right, so my fish is ready. I'm just gonna put it uh, in the in the frying. The dish I'm going to use for my oven, my oven dish, uh, just uh, put this on the side. Okay, I still add um, a little bit more of the Um, of the spice because this is going in the oven so um, I want to like leave it there for for, for quite some 
some time. Okay, so we are ready to pop this in the oven. I would leave that in for uh, at um, 180 degrees um, Celsius for um, about um, about 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, I can like turn it, you know, just up. To, I don't like it to be super crispy, but um, I need to like the water, the juices to like drain out before I um, uh, I take it out and uh, my. Um, Lemon juice, I add it like at the end, so um, let it cook through for now. So, okay, so we're going to um, go back to the um, plantains. Thank you. <laughs> you know, I'm um, asking my sister to give me some some pepper serviette so we can get through the uh, the patacones. Okay. So our um, plantains. How are we going to um, to make them? We fry them the first time, take them out, and then flatten them and put them back in the oil again. So it gets like, uh, it looks like uh, plantain chips, basically. So um, I'm just gonna take them out. A lot of the um, the food are really like the same as your your like um, West and South Africa, uh, West and uh, Central African countries. Um, we share a lot of like similarities in uh, food and uh, dishes with Colombia, which was great. So I was like, I felt totally at home. Um, I'm going to uh, I'm going to bake the the, the fish for for about uh, forty five minutes. All right. So uh, the fun part now with the patacones is that we're going to um, smash them. Okay. So literally, you take um, a, a wooden stick like this and smash it down and then put it back into the, the, the oil again. Okay, so um, I'm gonna flatten a couple more. Okay. I'm sure you could like stop at this stage though and um, eat it like that, <laughs> but uh, we're trying to keep it like the Colombian way today. So um, we're going to go ahead and like smash it and flatten them a little bit. So, um, our oil is coming out on the, on the coconut uh, milk. Um, it's splitting through. So, um, 
and starting to get like brown here. So if you can imagine the entire uh, can is turned into um, like about a third of its size and it's starting to, to brown. So that's what we want. And um, let it um, simmer a little bit more and then we're going to toss the rice and, uh, um, and our raisins as well. Okay. So I'm going to put the, the bananas back. So they look like flat uh, banana chips. <laughs> Okay, so I'm good for the um, the coconut rice, so we're just going to add plus the rice in, the brown sugar, and uh, our raisins. Okay. So, I'm going to um, mix it all up together. Mm -hmm. And let it uh, for another five minutes, and then we're going to add some um, water and leave it uh, to cook. Okay. How, how great is my sister? My sister is trying to help me with the movement of my mom. So, we have almost finished with the bananas. I'm doing even more. So, we have to les aplatir comme ça là. Encore. Une deuxième fois. Et une. Oh. Celui-là est beaucoup plus léger que les autres. On va essayer de récupérer. <rire> Et puis, celui-là aussi. Voilà. Donc, comme ça. C'est bon. Juste là. On va les sortir de, de l'huile. So we're taking them out. She is, she's a star, my sister. <laughs> she's smiling. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take the the bananas out, um, let it like sit in a, a paper towel to just drain the, the oil. Donc on va enlever le, les bananes du, du feu et laisser reposer un petit moment sur uh, uh, du papier uh, cuisine pour uh, justement enlever un peu uh, l'huile. Donc, je fais le, le, deuxième, le deuxième tour. Comment est-ce que je me suis retrouvée en Colombie Donc, euh, je, je, je suis allée travailler en Équateur. J'avais euh, une mission de service pour, euh, pour une semaine. Et euh, donc, comme ça allait être intense, une semaine de travail, je me suis dit, bon, pourquoi pas prendre une semaine avant, essayer de visiter un peu la région. Et euh, en termes de, de visa, c'était beaucoup plus rapide d'obtenir un visa euh, colombien. Donc, c'était mon, mon, euh, une de mes premières options, en fait, mon, mon, mon choix pour, euh, pour visiter. Donc, euh, ça, 
euh, ça prend tout est fait en ligne et ça prend euh, pratiquement une semaine pour un visa euh, pour un passeport congolais donc euh, ça sur une semaine vous avez votre visa c'est euh, que vous imprimez et puis vous, vous pouvez voyager c'est un visa à plusieurs entrées et euh, ce que j'aime bien avec euh, avec euh, la Colombie c'est que c'est un euh, ils sont très chaleureux ils aiment euh, la fête, ils sont bons vivants, euh, la nourriture est, est superbe et surtout, euh, bien sûr, surtout dans la, sur la côte caribéenne, on retrouve nos, nos, nos racines euh, africaines parce que j'ai rencontré des communautés euh, euh, africaines de, 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 de Colombie avec une histoire assez riche qui, qui se retrace sur euh, l'Angola, la, la, la RDC et la République euh, 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 la Guinée équatoriale. Donc, euh, voilà. Donc, je vais euh, juste rajouter de l'eau chaude pour, euh, pour le riz. Donc, euh, si jamais vous, 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 vous pensez visiter euh, l'Amérique latine, je, je vous conseillerais d'aller euh, en Colombie parce que euh, d'abord, on a un peu de tout. Donc, on a les Caraïbes, l'Amérique latine et l'Afrique mélangée. Je ne sais pas si euh, ça, ça, je m'explique <rire> je m'explique bien. Donc, euh, j'ai passé une semaine là-bas, donc euh, pris des cours de, de, de cuisine, euh, visité bien sûr le, la région et aussi euh, euh, j'ai euh, faire de la salsa. <rire> C'était super sympa et, et vraiment, euh, euh, je me suis sentie chez moi. C'était vraiment comme, euh, comme en Afrique. C'était super bon. Ok. I'm just making sure I'm answering all the, the, the questions and okay. All right. I'm just waiting for the, the, the water to, to boil and then I'm tossing in the rice. You will need, uh, I'm using two cups of uh, rice, so you'll need about um, two and a half to three cups of water. But uh, I really go, I play by, um, I just go with like a feeling because uh, you don't want to make it too soft. Um, so you just, you know, watch <laughs> how much, but it, uh, you would typically use about a, a cup and uh, two cups of, uh, two cups and a half of uh, water as well. So we good. Um. You will reduce the, um, the heat a little bit and then let it cook through. Okay, so um, the second batch of um, patacones are done. They look like fat little chips. Like maybe my two-year-old made those. <laughs> but we're not looking for perfection here, guys. It is yum. I can guarantee that. But uh, I will share like the, the pictures on, uh, on my Instagram of like the final 
uh, uh, plate, you know? Uh, I'm just gonna put this on the side. So if, if you were to um, go to Latin America, where would you, where would you go first? Yes, they speak, they only, um, they speak Spanish, but uh, a lot of them actually speak uh, English as well. So um, if you, you are an English speaking person, you will, you will like, you will just uh, uh, be easy, uh, well, it will be easy to communicate and like get by. Uh, while Cuba, my, I always thought that I would go to Brazil first. But then this work opportunity came through, so I had to, um, well, you know, a change of plans, and I ended up going to um, Colombia. But uh, Brazil has always been uh, top of uh, my list. And um, Cuba, yes. Uh, I, just, I just feel, you know, like Cuba and will need like, I don't know, a month. <laughs> <laughs> to like take it all in because I, I just feel my typical week or, or 10 days wouldn't be enough. I don't know. So I, I, I can't really, it's for me, Cuba, uh, Italy and um, India are like those places for me that I will need an entire month to explore and until I'm like done with the place. It's throughout, um, you know, and like, like swim in all the rum. <laughs> okay, I take that back. <laughs> but uh, that's like typically what I would um, enjoy uh, uh, enjoy doing. But I would need like a good a good month. But I'm sure ten days it's is okay anywhere. <laughs> So, just a quick recap for um, today's cook and chat uh, session. We were uh, making. Uh, moyara, which is a typical um, fish dish from uh, the uh, from Colombia, especially the Caribbean side of Colombia, um, a, a dish I learned when I was in uh, Cartagena early this year. And what you would actually have on the dish is fish. Um, typically, oh well, you would have for most cases uh, a red snapper, but a um, uh, I'm using tilapia today. Um, you can fry it or uh, um, bake uh, the fish or barbecue it. I'm going to be baking mine. And then uh, to uh, um, accompany that fish, you're going to have uh, patacones, which is um, plantains, um, which uh, you, you sort of fry twice, fry once in cubes or big chunks, flatten it, and then have uh, fry them again as like a big flat uh, chip and then uh, have that with some uh, coconut rice. So, um, and you, because it's like so uh, yummy and sort of oily <laughs> as well, we're going to have a little side salad on the side as well to just like feel good about ourselves for today. <laughs> so um, I just wanted to say, um, Thank you to um, everybody for uh, tuning in today and uh, all the chat and the questions and interacting with me. And uh, I will be uh, definitely sh posting this uh, uh, video through and also um, sharing some more uh, photos of the process and the, um, the final um, plate on my on my Instagram but it's I just wish I could share it with you all because I'm about to have like some bomb uh lunch <laughs> late lunch for myself and and the family so god bless I hope you're keeping safe and uh enjoy the rest of your weekend don't forget to share like subscribe uh for more videos love you all thank you so much <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> I'm trying to. Softly, softly. Thank you. <laughs>